my beloved brothers and sisters Musa alayhi salam one of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who was mentioned the most in the Quran in this particular surah Allah Almighty speaks about how at one stage he responded to a question who is the most knowledgeable he said I am and Allah wanted to show him that in fact Allah is the one who is the most knowledgeable and he gives knowledge to whomsoever he wishes so from that we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him meet Al Khidr and as he was going with one of his servants on the path of the coast he lost his fish which was prepared as a luncheon and upon the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you lose that fish as you go in you will find a man when you see him you need to talk to him and perhaps you may learn a thing or two from him lo and behold they met this man Al Khidr when they spoke to him and asked if they could join him he said no you won't understand what I do and you will keep questioning so Musa alayhi salam made a promise that I'm not going to question you and so as a result Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of three incidents in the surah where he did things and Musa alayhi salam asked him immediately why did you do this and he said didn't I tell you not to ask he says well I'm sorry I forgot the first time second time he says well I'm sorry I forgot so Al Khidr says now if you ask me one more time you can no longer be with me and it happened a third time because crazy things imagine you and I walking with someone and suddenly they slap someone for example you would immediately say why did you do this so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that after the third time Al Khidr explains to Musa alayhi salam the example of all three things look the first one I made a hole in the boat because there was someone taking the boats that were perfect and I wanted there to be a small damage in the boat so perhaps no one would take their boat they could repair it and so on the second one he says well I killed this little boy because he was going to grow older and if he grew older he would grow older in the disobedience of Allah and be a source of distress for his parents so I got rid of him by the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the third one he says there was a wall that we straightened because under the wall there was a treasure belonging to two orphans and we didn't want the wall to fall before they grew older when they grow older they will get the treasure under that particular wall from this we learn the knowledge of Allah Allah knows that which happened in the past Allah knows that which is happening now Allah knows that which will happen in the future but there is a fourth element that Allah knows he knows that which will not happen if it was going to happen how it would have happened where do we get that from the surah surah al-kahf because take a look at the the, the boat they made a hole and Allah says if you did not make the hole in the boat it was going to be taken away by someone was it really taken away by anyone no it wasn't because there was a hole Allah says we know that there were you were going to make the hole but we also know if there was no hole what would have happened that's amazing if you sit and ponder over it it is one of the unique aspects of the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why my brothers and sisters when something happens to you in your life trust Allah he knows he knows why he did not give you what you wanted and he knows if he did give it to you how it would have ended up that also is in the knowledge of Allah so this is one very interesting point I thought I'd mention